Stephanie of Stephanie Stitches here. Welcome to my channel where together we sew. If you're brand new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell for notifications so you'll know when I post up videos like this one or when I go live. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I love seeing all of you here and your comments down below. Well, today I got some happy mail. <laughs> Y'all know how much I love Pastry Shop's Box of Treats and the subscription from um, Sherry's Shop. It's a great, great subscription box. And just like every subscription box, she decided to do a special edition Christmas box. Yay! <laughs> so this is in addition to your regular subscription. It's a one-time um, fee, $48.95 for this box. She's got them on her website now. She's already been selling them, um, and she's getting on her way to sold out. So if you want one, go grab one today. <laughs> but you can see the contents ahead of time. So this isn't gonna be a mystery this time around. You can see the contents on her channel or right here in my video, of course. Um, if you decide to get this, um, it's gonna be a great box, I'm pretty sure, because she always does a great box. <laughs> and this was a surprise. She uh, let me know just a couple days ago that there was a box on the way and asked me if I wouldn't mind opening it. And of course, I said, of course, I love sharing these boxes with you guys because they're always fabulous. Um, the reason why most of us who do subscription boxes, including myself, that do not have Christmas in them unless we advertise them is because there's a lot of people out there who don't celebrate Christmas and we wouldn't want to offend anybody. So generally speaking, most subscription boxes don't include a Christmas box. They're an extra or special edition. So that's what Sherry created here is a special edition box and I can't wait to see what's inside. So let's get this open. Here's what the box looks like, the normal box of treats box. And cut this open. I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> All right, let's get this open. All right, that's what it always looks like inside when you get one of her subscriptions. Her subscription is every six weeks instead of once a month, which I kind of like because you have more time to do the project in between. Um, and it, you can cancel it any time if you're not happy with it. But of course, I think you'll always be happy with it because her boxes are great. Um, let's see what she has to say. Okay, Christmas treat box, Christmas Lane. This is the surprise Christmas treat box featuring Christmas Lane by April Rosenthal's. Oh, Christmas Lane featuring April Rosenthal's. Ugh, sorry, I have a cold. I cannot speak today. Candy Cane Lane red and green Christmas collection. There's red and green 10 inch squares for piecing the quilt. For the background fabric, I use Candy Cane Lane's white on white snow dot print. I love the white snowy look it gave the quilt. This Christmas theme box includes one of Kathy Holden's Christmas zipper pull charms. You can attach these to zippers to easily pull bags open. There's also a sewer's Christmas pocket notebook for a tasty Christmas treat. I've included hot chocolate and a fruity Christmas pop. Ooh, my kids will like that. <laughs> I also included some peppermint seeds for planting. As always, a spool of silk finished thread for your binding is included. Your mini charm for another quilt project is Fig Tree's Christmas Stitched Collection. The collection features traditional fig tree prints in red, greens, and beige colors. Happy sewing and Merry Christmas, Sherry. Okay. Oh, right off the bat is the pattern. And I did get a glimpse of the pattern. It's gorgeous. Christmas trees, stars, right up my alley. This is so cute. I just love it. Now included where we needed to, hold on. Let me go one thing at a time here. <laughs> I'm so excited about that that I want to talk about it. Um, season's greetings, a gift for you. Peppermint seeds. Very cool. So we got some peppermint seeds. It says planting instructions. Seeds Start seeds inside 8 to 10 weeks before last frost date. Transplant 10 inches apart to prepare garden beds or containers. Can also be grown indoors near a sunny window. It's really that easy. Oh, that might be good. I was going to say it's pretty cold here in Ohio to... Uh, grow some peppermint, but um, if you can grow it inside in a window, that would be awesome. I love peppermint. Peppermint tea is like my favorite drink ever. And then we have a double chocolate hot cocoa mix. Um, Sarah, my daughter, is going to be taking that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and then there's a little lollipop, which is super cute, so I'll give that to my son, because she'll get the hot chocolate. Oh, I like this. So this is Christmas, little notepad. I love these little notepads from Moda, but this one's really cute. I'd love to know someone machine on the front. Okay, and this is the mini charm pack from Fig Tree, Christmas Stitched. I love this line of fabric. It's really, really pretty. 
very classic um, fig tree with Christmas colors, the little houses. I love this line, gorgeous. Okay, and then we've got the thread she was talking about. This is Mettler Silk Finished Thread, and it's a red color. Let me see, it's color number 0102 if you wanna look it up. But Medler makes really nice thread, and Sherry always includes some thread that matches for binding, so I really like that. Okay, so here are the 10 inch squares she was talking about. Oh, look at that print. I love Candy Cane Lane, it's so cute. These greens are gorgeous. Going through them rather quickly, so you don't have to watch me flip through a ton of fabric <laughs> for too long, but they're too cute not to show you. And here's the reds. That's a snowflake. Now you do have to bring your own background fabric to this project. Um, you can use, I think, white would probably be the best if you have a white with like dots on it or snowflakes on it. That would be cute too. Okay, there's the fabrics. And then, oh, this cute little charm. How adorable is that? So you can actually make um, a little zipper bag with this charm pack and then put this as the pull. Wouldn't that be adorable? That would be a great, and that would be a nice gift if you need a last minute Christmas gift for somebody. Because those um, zipper bags, and I've done them on my channel before, made out of the charm mini charm packs, they go together so fast. Um, so that would be a really nice gift for somebody. All right, so that's the special edition Christmas box. It's really great. Thank you so much, Sherry, for sending this to me. I do get this for a review, but the opinions are my own. I do love this. This fabric is darling. I cannot wait to make something or make this with that. And I love this pattern. Love, love, love. It's got Christmas trees, it's got stars, everything that I love. Very nice. And I have some snowflake white background fabric, so that'll work perfect with this. So again, uh, head over to Pastry Shop Quilts and look under the treat box and find the Christmas one if you are interested in this. Run fast though, because she told me the other day she's already on the way to selling out. So <laughs> very nice box. Thank you, Sherry, and have a Merry Christmas. Bye.